what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back season three episode two is here today i am ready to see how this story is going to progress i'm not going to spend too much time on my intro here just reminding you guys that hey you could see these episodes way earlier than everybody else just sign up and become a member of the channel at the second tier it's two dollars a month you get early reactions you get to see these episodes early on the channel if you're that much into black sales and into my reactions you can do that also it helps the channel grow you know cuz hey I don't know does it really help the channel grow not really you just helping to support the channel <laughs> just put it like that um, all right so we're gonna jump in we know what's going on um, Eleanor is on her way back to Nassau with company it seems like they're sending a fleet over there how is that gonna go down I don't know but hopefully it works out for them um, <clears throat> you know hopefully it works out for our guys um, in Nassau you know um, the situation that's going on with Hornigal you know trying to take down Flint and stuff like that for England he's such a I can't stay him and and Fernard or whatever his name is Fernal Fernu Bernu what's his name again <laughs> I can't even remember his damn name um Miss Mr God, I can't remember his name, but that guy with the glasses. Anyways, let's get to the episode. Boom, boom, boom. Season 3, Episode 2. Man. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. I can see it happening. How tough this is going to be for the crew. Of them getting through this. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Hopefully they pull through though. With the least amount of casualties as possible. Now we got Mr. Teach. He was Vane's mentor. So we learned a lot about this Captain Teach. Okay. And as I said before. Captain Teach is a legendary figure in pirate in history that a lot of people talk about with a nickname Blackbeard, right? So, um, they haven't called him that in the show yet, so I don't know if they're going to take up that mantra, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But there's so many things, I, I love how they build up in this series i love how they build things up to the you know towards the end of the seasons you know what i'm saying how they build things up the story the dialogue that happens um i don't know why flint keeps having this dream of miranda like i'm i'm trying to see you know what why does he keep dreaming about her and it, and um i know it's gonna have some significance of why he's having the dream or it could just be memories you know what i'm saying he misses her so it just it could be just that but at the same time i feel like it's gonna have more significance later so we got hornigol and the frame you know meeting up with dude i still don't really know his name yet he introduced himself i don't remember it was like one time um so eleanor is with him and we're i guess we're going to get to see what they're going to do um next if they're gonna head because he's reporting that captain Flint is dead we know he's not dead not yet but they don't have no wind to carry them anywhere so they're like a um dead calm in the sea no wind which is you know it happens don't get me wrong that's that's something that is possible but you know there were no engines back in the day to kind of like push you you know you use an old-timey sailboat kind of stuff you depend on the wind a hundred percent to move so if you're not if you can't if you ain't got no wind you can't move at all so that's the situation they're in right now 
and it's not looking good for them and um it is a good way to kind of kind of try to build up what's going on in nasa a little bit more um you know i don't know what they're going to return to at this point because it looks like they got they're going to be thinking oh they got captain flint out of the way they can just go go get nasa you know what i'm saying but they still have captain Vane to deal with and of course you know what i'm saying um now with a new deer having their troubles over there they're planning to you know jack and and max and and Anne, they're they're trying to you know trying to make the, the 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 gold you know lighter you know what i'm saying um just in case they have to move it because if that force get taken they lose everything because the gold is stashed there um i don't like the idea of jack doing this behind veins back or flint's back i don't like him doing this i don't know how hard the conversation would be if you just go you know what i'm saying if you just go to your if you just go to the to miss to vein and be like listen we need to get this gold because it's gonna take too long you know it's gonna take at least a month to repair the fort and get it going again let's try to to get most of this gold exchange for something lighter just in case we have to move it because if the english decide to attack this place now and they take the fort they take our gold with it okay it's not a hard conversation to have now is vain going to agree with this probably you know what i'm saying we don't know you don't know he might have been like you know what you're right let's try to figure out a way to move this a better way and stash it somewhere else um you never know you know what i'm saying as i said vane is a very unpredictable character in the show he never stopped doing that so this guy that comes in now mr teach you know what i'm saying he's telling them about the good old days and how it used to be you know uh you've given nasa prosperity it never needed that we need it needs strife i don't know who the hell says stuff like that but <laughs> says that who's be, who's in like you know what we need strife <laughs> i've never heard that in my entire life before like somebody that's like you know what men to, for men to be men they need strife listen man i know that a lot of people don't like they don't like to see prosperity because they believe it makes people soft and peace is soft it's the same thing you know what i'm saying we're saying that people will be like oh if we have peace everybody will just be cool and, and nobody would hate on each other no that stuff is still going to exist my friend it's just that it's peaceful you give people prosperity they don't care about it much all of that stuff that it takes a lot off of your mind that's what peace and prosperity does a lot of stuff that you would usually stress about prosperity takes away a lot of that stuff it's less stress not to say that stress goes away entirely it's just that you start worrying about things that actually matter a lot a lot more you know what i'm saying it's just like things that you would worry about a lot like how am i gonna do this or how am i gonna do that it's like if we had if you if if tomorrow somebody handed you a million dollars tell me that that wouldn't take a lot off of your shoulders you know what i'm saying like you a lot of the stuff that you would worry about you know day-to-day -day bills and day-to-day -day just cost of living and, and it would take a lot of that off of you maybe like you could take a deep breath you could be like oh my god i don't have to worry about that anymore i don't worry about that anymore i can do this now i can do this now i can do that now I can. you get what i'm saying so things happen for a reason and i'm always an advocate for peace and for prosperity because it it really does change its people so to hear a character on a show say that it troubles me we gotta watch this guy because he's gonna probably do something to interrupt this time of prosperity to create hardened men <laughs> you know what i'm saying and i get where he's coming from it's like i i do get where he's coming from but at the same time it's it's like bro it eliminates a lot of the stuff that people worry about the violence the, the continued worry and stuff like that even though vane is still you know what i'm saying like i thought he was gonna be like you guys should be 
grooming grooming men to defend the island and, and all of this other stuff like i think that's where he was gonna go with it but it man the man said these we need strife <laughs> anyways that's just my two cents anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in this was great man i did four episodes today um which is probably what i'm gonna start doing until the series uh, until we are caught up and done with the series um yeah pretty cool time four episodes we finished season two start the two episodes into season three so that's really good um thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man so like comment you know what to do subscribe if you're new i'm out peace